Back to the top of the order, lead off Lusky to make himself an absolute champion here with a Grand Slam opportunity. He's caned it. He's caned it. He's going. It's a Grand Slam. Lusky new legend. 432 foot Grand Slam. Which means we must be up to game 18. Gee, my maths is flying today. We're on the road this time. Five words, eight and nine. So that's going to be what? It's about 50, sir. That's going to be a 50% crowd. We'll, we'll set it up. I don't really notice much difference. <laughs> crowd looks the same to me. But, well, 50 crowd because they're having a 50 50 season. Apply. Season custom continue. Right, twitches and firebirds. Do we need to change anything? Lusky's not a hundred percent. Gee, we can't really afford not to use him. He's well and he's locked in. All his stats are still higher. I think we go with one more game with him. Hope he's still still tense, even though he's he's getting hits, he's just not getting homers. Or well, he did get a homer in the first game. So, I think we go as is. I think we go as is. Yep, I think we go as is. Night Owl Betty, how are you doing, man? Night Happy, thanks for being here. Yeah, I think we go as is. So, of course, let's see who our sponsors are before we start up. Twitcher's Baseball is brought to you by these fine sponsors. Umpower Masculine Deodorant Spray. When your balls go foul, you need Umpower. The Propane Transport Association. When you're down on the farm and you want to keep warm, propane. <laughs> the law offices of Boy, Dewey, Cheatham, and Howe, where our motto is, chasing ambulances isn't always a bad thing. Chico's Bail Bonds. Helping you remain at large since 1956. And, North Dakota brand Weasel. Weasel, the other yellow mead. We're on the road to Shaka Sports Turf. Visiting the Firebirds. Roll again. Lusky, Charman, and Tom Gris will lead us off. Pitching is Dick Lucas. Now batting the catcher, number 22. Yeah, you're hitting home runs, Benny, so we need you down there scoring on runs while people are on base. Lead off, Lusky. Let's go. Oh, that might have been the one, or oh, that was a bit outside. Oh, it's a fly ball to right field to start proceedings. That's one away. Lucky Shaman. Oh, that could be a two base hit. Run, baby, run, 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 run. Yep. Sherman starts off with a double. We're off and running. Bring up the man, the legend, Tom Gris. Oh, he got a lot of it, but I don't know if it's going to go far enough. It's going back. He's going to get caught in the warning track. Which means it's going to be a double play because I've already sent Sherman home. <laughs> oh, he dropped it. I dropped it on second base and Sherman gets back on base. Well, that's good. That's a break for us. Brings up Obi. Two out, one on. Wow, what a lucky break. Oh, not that lucky. <laughs> we gotta get away with it anyway. Well, that, that could have been nasty, but turned out not to be. Now get away with it. Easy double play. Mucked up. 
that, that's, it. that's one of our plays. <laughs> Pitching for us is Colonel Failure. Now ah, these are original players. Milo Stewart. We got the Colonel with a four finger, two finger slide, slider, curve ball, and change up. in the wrong bait apparently oh come on no help from the umpire either now this is still the first guy with about 30,000 pitches fight three you're out got him Oh, it's a big fly ball to me. I'm worried. <laughs> but I shouldn't be. I've taken the catch. It's two away. Did you ever have a hamster named Henry? Well, here he is. Oh, get over there, Obes. Get over there, get over there, get over there. Oh, <laughs> close. Tell. Wow. We're not going to get much help here today, I can see. <laughs> right, we are out. Gets us to the top of the second and scores a level. That's when we usually bring this in, isn't it? This broadcast is the intellectual property of the Twitchers and Moths League Baseball. Any use of the accounts, descriptions, or highlights of this game without the expressed written consent of the Twitchers and MLB is strictly prohibited and, one could argue, quite silly. Oh, that could have been the one. Basher Bog Nogus. That might be the one. It's going. It's going. It's going right to the right, right fielder. <laughs> what a way. Felt like we've got plenty of it. Brings up TV gaming. Oh, that was the one, too. Damn it. Oh, he hits it straight to first base, so he has to take one step to get on the bag. Oh, it's going to be one of those games, is it? Well, this guy's not going to help it any. <laughs> it's me. Straight to second base. Throws it straight to first base, and if anybody blinked, they just missed that inning. <laughs> We're down at the bottom of the second. No score. Front manly, don't don't run like a girl. Front manly. Oh man, I'll tell you what, <laughs> we get no calls at all here. <laughs> Just gonna make this difficult. Right, we out. Who's on that ball? That's the way. Now I could do anything. Wow. Did we strike this guy off our Christmas list or something? It's got it in for us. Yoink sacks! 
That <laughs> seriously is nine. <laughs> well, with a nine like that, he's got to be dispatched. Come on. Kin music. <laughs> That's another K for the Colonel. Takes us to the top of the third. Up next is the cleanup guy, <laughs> not our Vinny. You got nothing to clean up here because he's first up. Now batting, the center fielder, number 12. Oh, look like the one. Really? You're not calling any mine that are like that? Cheap now. <laughs> That's one away as he smacks us straight to third base. Oh, Colonel's gonna have to have a bat. Can't take him out yet. He's pitching well. Oh, you don't give me any of those calls, do you? Oh, if it falls quickly, it doesn't. Fly ball to left field. That's two away. Back to the top of the order. Lead off Lusky. Oh, it stays in. Ah, oh, unfortunately. Goes foul. Leroy. He's too soon on that. Good to see him waiting. <laughs> oh, that's supposed to be a bloody check swing. Why didn't it? Oh, this is going to be one of those games. I let go of the button, but obviously too late. And this is an easy one for the people on the scoreboard. It's still 0-0 zero, zero as we go to the bottom of the third. Batting, <laughs> the second baseman, Annabella Stokes. Stoke this. <laughs> Did you not see the calls that they just got in that last inning? Oh. How about getting the same for me? <laughs> oh no! They're forcing us to throw into the middle of the zone because anything in the corners is not getting it. I probably only got that one because they actually swung at it. Oh, he finally caught one! Still got him anyway! No help from the umpire at all! One away, nobody on. Let's go straight to Tom, picks it up on third, throws it across to Ovi on first, and that's two away. That's the pitcher to the pitcher. Don't throw balls to the damn pitcher for God's sake. Oh God. <laughs> what did I just say? <laughs> well that's going straight to Obes. He's going to beat him to the bag. He does side away. Well. Let's count up all the runs we've got so far after three innings, and I've finished counting them already. We're up to the top of the fourth. Zero, zero. Now batting the right fielder, number 25. Lucky Shaman. Oh, he's hit down centre fielder's throat unless it clears him. It didn't. Now batting the third baseman. Ah, the man, the legend, hopefully today, Tom Gris. <laughs> well, that should drop for a base hit. Drop. There we go. Drop short of centre field. For a base hit. At least somebody's on. Now, can we do anything with it? Up to Obes. Obi Wan. B O B. Have I 
stolen the base all year. <laughs> it's like they don't know that. <laughs> oh, it's a big fly ball. Get back, Tom. Back. Did I not say go back? You see that red arrow's coming up, which means run back where it was? <laughs> Just ignored me for a double play. That's, that's lovely. Who's in charge of this team again? <laughs> Obviously not me. Bottom of the fourth. And it's still 0 0. The shortstop, Milo Stewart. Oh shit. Straight to Bog Nogus. Second base takes the catch. One away. Morton Stanberg. Charlie, jeez. This is going to be hard work with no help from the umpire, do you? Got him looking! Here's the hamster named Henry. Him out looking as well. <laughs> Another K for the Colonel. We go to the top of the fifth. Still nothing, nothing. Now battle the second baseman, number three. Well, I think it's time to hear from our main sponsor. Are you looking well, we for something exciting and different to throw on the grill for your weekend barbecue? Try Ground Weasel Patties and Weasel Franks from North Dakota brand Weasel Meat Products Incorporated. Made with 100% free range weasels, our patented musk gland removal process and special blend of herbs and spices give you that one of a kind rodent consumption experience unavailable from any other brand. Guaranteed fresh and free of additives and fillers. North Dakota brand Weasel, a Burbank Dilight industry, is the official rodent meat product of Twitchers Baseball. Weasel. The other yellow meat. <laughs> Basher Bog Nogus. Oh, that was the bloody ball to hit, damn it. <laughs> Going for two balls he can't hit, and the one straight down the middle that was home run written all over it just looked at. That brings up DB Gaming. Someone's injured. TV smacks one right up the middle of the centre field to get on base. And Spock Douglas is injured, so he's not he's, he's in the dugout now anyway. So we'll fix him in the next inning. That brings up me. Oh, it's an error. 404. Isn't that error? <laughs> That's what I'm batting. My batting's an error. Certainly is if I hit him like that. This is straight to first base. He's gonna go for the double play and yep, that's that's my usual performance. <laughs> Remove the rest of the team even though there was only one out. Wow. <laughs> yeah, this game's going swimmingly. At least the Colonel's pitching well, so they can keep us in it. But we have a problem. Bob Nogus is injured. Oh, we do have people to replace him. Okay. Uh, the only one who's actually a player, because that's a, that's not a player, and that's not a player, is, is Weaver for Prez. So, I guess the Weave gets a game. Now in the game, number twenty-seven. Weaver for Prez. He'll be the new shortstop. Is that what we're doing? No, he's second base. He's the new second base. Right, Colonel continues. Who's up? Grunt Manley. It's the only way you should grunt. Oh, he wanted it. How far did he go through? I want to check on the first umpire's 
Well, actually, it'd be the third base umpire there for that side. See if he went through with that swing. Oh, hit it or get out. <laughs> I said. <laughs> The fly ball Sherman comes running in, takes the catch. Took about 20 pitches to get rid of him. TB! TB Gaming underscore TTV just subscribed. Welcome Seven to months, four Vols. months streak. Thank you, DB. Much appreciated, man. Get me your knockout coffee specialist. <laughs> Just as DB does a does a um, subscription, we get a coffee in. <laughs> Appropriate. Thanks, DB. Much appreciated. I'll oh, sneeze on that ball. That's the way. You won't be able to hit it now. Not a chance. Oh, I can't hit the zone though. <laughs> Three around, look at that, stays on the ball again. Get a strike out. Thanks man. Make, makes all this worthwhile when people support the stream. Wow, I actually got a strike on the corner. And it was called by the umpire. Might have to quit that. <laughs> this guy has not been very kind. Yeah, put another one up there. Ah, another one down there. Strike three, you're out. Good luck, Bob. Another K for the Colonel. Yeah, we're ripping it up in this game. Nothing, nothing after five innings. Is anybody up there? Hello, is this thing on? <laughs> Top of the sixth. Now batting the center fielder. Come on, Benny. It's up to you, man. Get something started here. Oh, I can't hit that. Can't hit that. <laughs> I couldn't hit any of those. That's three very good pitches. There's no way I was going to do anything but get out on those pitches or foul. That's better. <laughs> Keep going. It's a two base hit. Okay. Now batting, the catcher. No. That was the pitcher. That was the colonel. Colonel gets a two base hit. <laughs> Showing us how to do it. Back to the top of the order. Lead off Lutsky. And that's um, hit too quickly. That's hit too late. That's two strikes now, damn it. <laughs> Finally gets one going there. <laughs> it's sort of a sacrifice infield hit there. It gets the pitcher to third base. It's in scoring position. It's up to Sharman to get him home. And that won't be it because that's going to be caught in foul territory. <laughs> I mean, the Colonel got home, but it don't count. <laughs> And we almost got things started, but uh, almost doesn't cut it. Down to the bottom of the sixth. And look at that scoreboard. Nothing, nothing. The people in the scoreboard are falling asleep. Someone give them a phone call, wake them up, or not yet, because nothing's happened. The Colonel will continue. Oh, they're on base. That comes out to me at left field. I'll pitch it to second, make sure it's a single base. But they're on base. That's a worry. Uh, might get the double play, but we'll get the first. <laughs> Now 
And he's coming out. <laughs> oh, he might come out. Pinchetta comes in for Dick Lucas. Ralph Blue. We got one out and a runner on second. Oh god, I hope that I was hoping that'd swing a bit more than that. Need to sneeze on the ball again, Colonel. It's going straight obes. Takes the easy out on first base. But the runner is now on third. But there's two out. This is dangerous territory because there's been no scoring in this game, so any score is bonus points. Stein jumps up to get it, but he can't. And that's going to be a score. On a three base hit. Which means another runner is in scoring position. So this is not over yet. saves any more damage but unfortunately they're on the board well we haven't got one yet top of the seventh trailing by one pressure's on we need to find a run from somewhere who's it gonna be first up it's Tom Briss the man the legend bottom corner. Oh! <laughs> third base knocks it down but can't take it cleanly and Tom's on, on base. With nobody out. Comes up the obes. run you stay at second we've tied it up Ope comes to the party almost a home run but it's enough to get us the run we needed to get back in the game nobody out and the runner on second leave it for Prez he's just come in oh really Those are strikes. Get out of town. That's not. Bloody hell. Who is this umpire? Right. Two on. Nobody out. Lino Ramiro is gone and Omar Chombo comes in. If you say so. Oh, it's a foul. Get down quickly. Quicker, 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 quicker. <laughs> Don't want him to get caught in foul territory. Oh, that's... That's, gonna, that's another run. Go. Go, 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 go. He's there. <laughs> we hit the lead. Number eight. Thank God for that, because I'm up next. <laughs> Still nobody out two on. And I've given a... Oh no, it's not a double play, it's just me out. Sacrifice. <laughs> That's what I'm calling it. Gets runners on second and third. And only one out. Not our Benny. This is when we need that big home run from Not our Benny as the clean-up man. That might split the fielders. It does. That's another score. 
So he manages to split the short stop in third base. Gets us another run. Uh, let me think about that. Do we take the kernel out now and bring in a pinch hitter? Because we've got two runners on. Could even, could even try a bunt. Keep the kernel in. Yeah, I think we'll go. Let's, let's try and bunt one. It's worth a shot. It's still two on, but now there's two out. It's up to lead off Lusky now. A big home strike would be nice. Well, that's three straight balls. <laughs> He doesn't beat first base, just had a creep, creep past him. Words and shit crept past him. Would have been another score, but that's three runs. Puts us in front. Perfect time to take a break right there. Because so I've got to take a break. <laughs> now batting the third baseman, Henry Hamster. The hamster named Henry. But right there. It's a seventh inning stretch. Wave your arms, stretch your legs, refresh your drink, grab a snack. And here's a message from one of our main sponsors. How many times has this happened to you? You're sitting at home on Friday evening after a rough work week at the wastewater treatment facility. You've had a few beers and there's an especially inspirational and highly informative Dukes of Hazard rear on on television when your baby mama drops dinner on the coffee table. That recycled cool whip tub full of instant mac and cheese looks appetizing but Upon further inspection, you notice she has once again forgotten to trim the crusts off of your fried bologna sandwich. Your first reaction is to jump up and remind her what an inconsiderate hoe she is, and before you know it, you're handcuffed in the back of a squad car on your way to be checked into a holding facility. The sad part is that the judge won't be in to arraign you until Monday. Do you spend the weekend in jail? You have one phone call. Why not call Chico's bail bonds? Chico's has highly trained paralegals on call around the clock armed with the home phone and fax numbers of every court clerk in your area. They'll work with your court-appointed public defender to get you a low-cost bail bond or no-cost personal recognizance bond and you'll be back at the trailer park before noon on Saturday, yelling at the kids and kicking the dog. For you repeat offenders, Chico's has frequent flyer discounts. Chico's Bail Bonds Helping you remain at large since 1956. Some restrictions do apply. See our full page ad in the weekly Auto Trader magazine for details. It's back to the game. Right. Well, I could have taken the Colonel out, I suppose. He's seven us down. He's probably got one more inning in him. Hopefully. Let's go. No shit. That's not where we meant to pitch that. Because I wasn't expecting that, neither were they. Oh, even for Prez tries to slide to it, but all he gets is a couple of gravel rash burns on his arms. And it gets through the centre fielder for a base hit. This umpire and these serious words. Oh, well, that's low. It's gone after it though. <laughs> that looked like it passed inside the third base bag to me, but the umpire's called that fair. But still managed to pick it up and throw out first, so uh, we got the out, but there's no way that was a fair hit. One away, one on, but a runner on second. Anticipate that. 
No, that's first base, but not third base. <laughs> he's gonna, he's gonna try and steal first from second. You know, it's a whole new tactic. <laughs> he's uh, comfortably steals third. Uh, damn it! Strike three, you're out. Gets the strike out anyway. Brings up. Yoink sex. <laughs> Two away, still one on. He's on third base. Oh, come on, um. You watching the same game I am? Oh, we're not going to get across to that. Shaman forlornly runs, takes a big dive. No, he didn't even let me take a dive. Strike three, you're out. We got out of jail. We go to the top of the eighth, leading by two. Be lucky, Shaman Tom Grissom, Obi. Lucky Shaman. Chombo is still pitching. Oh, straight down the throat of the right fielder. Now back, the third base One away. Number 69. The man, the legend. Two singles today. Tom Gris. Well, he's trying to sneak that one between shortstop and third base. <laughs> Someone did that earlier, but that one didn't work. The first baseman, number shortstop builds it. That's two away. Brings up OE. He's got a double today. Oh, they straight to third base. Got plenty of it, but got there too quickly. And that was a quick up and down. Three up and three down. Takes us to the bottom of the eighth. Still leading by two. Now, will the Colonel stay in? That's the big question. He's, he's down below his markers now, even though he's locked in, he's running out of oomph. Let's see how he goes. Oh, don't pitch it there! <laughs> Why with that? And of course, that's not where I expected to pitch it either, so they didn't. Wow, right down the middle. Taking up a lot of pitches here, it might be the end of him. Oh god, it's a wild pitch. Ah, oh, no fishing. Strike three, you're out! Oh, the Colonel's about done. Let's see if we can get him one more out. Strike three, you're out! Oh, he's against the pitcher. Unless he brings a pitch hitter in. If he does, which he has, I think we're coming out. <laughs> What's he got? He ain't got any power, but he's got contact. Oh, it's tempting. Tempting to try and get him through the inning. Oh, I don't know. I hate making these decisions. That's where I need this, isn't it? No, it's not that one. This one. Time out whilst I think up some more deviltry. 
Oh, well, if I do take him out, who have we got? Lane looks like he's just about ready to come back. He might be okay to come back. After that um, smack in the nether region there several games ago, I think he's just about recovered. Both of those are fully fit, so I could... Why risk it? I'm taking him out. Let's bring the ox in. Why risk it? There's only two runs in it. Performance sports equipment for home security. It's a fly ball to me. Come on, get there. Yes. Jesus, I didn't know I was going to make that. <laughs> But that side away, near pitch hitter comes out and Elric Rippon will come in to pitch. Top of the ninth, we're leading by two. Weaver for prayers will be first up. Now batting the second baseman. <laughs> One to hit, damn it. Feed him! Nah. Brings us to DB Gaming. One away, nobody on. Ah, oh, Jim, my reflex has gone right out now. Oh, have they? It's got that one. <laughs> it's going back. Oh, I suddenly made it to the warning track. God damn it. Felt better than that. <laughs> Got plenty of it. Too much height. And I'm having a shocker. 0 for 3. Will this be the turnaround? Nope. <laughs> 0 for 4. Looks like I mightn't be starting next week. <laughs> That's 3 up and 3 down, so we decided to sit on our um, solitary 3 runs in the 7th inning. Now, 2 run lead is all we've got. Is it enough? The short stop. My score. Yeah, I think I'm going to sit out the first game next week. That, that was a shocker. I did nothing. I don't think I did much all night, actually. A couple of hits. Uh, well, Ox is definitely staying in. Okay. Three outs we need, baby. Three outs. Oh god. I hope he's got it. Beats him to the bag. That's one down, two to go. The left fielder, Gordon Stanberg. Yeah. Oh shit. Oh, he just watched it. That was a that had home run written all over it. Wow. Fly ball. Charmin <laughs> tries to slide in to take the catch, but he was way too far away. And here's the scary bit. The tying run is at the plate. Oh dear, no pressure. Strike for your help! Well, that was vital. Two away, one to go. They, they need a, a home run, basically, to to win this. Well, they've got a runner on, so I suppose they don't need a home run, but they need some hits. We need one out. Leroy. 
Who's this? Brunt Manley. <laughs> That's like um Tim the Two Man Taylor, is it? <laughs> Brunt Manley. <laughs> Oh, come on. Fish just aren't biting today. It's going straight to DB. He picks it up. He throws it to first. And Twitches win. <laughs> yeah, baby. Yeah. Wasn't pretty. Don't matter. A win's a win. He scored in one inning only. <laughs> And that was enough. Thanks to a great night or day on the mound by the Colonel. Gets us home. We scored three in the seventh, they scored one in the sixth, and that was in that's all she wrote. <laughs> Can't say it was a defensive effort, it was just good pitching effort. Okay, let's look at the bad news. Hits. Last well, didn't get any when he's going anyway, because he's, he's um not fully fit. Bob Douglas didn't get any. Hmm. That's right, he got injured. Because week for press came in. He didn't get a hit either. And DB got a cut. I didn't get any. Benny got one. Avery got one. Charman got one. So I suspect that Lusky, Bob Douglas and myself are looking at a, a bench next week. Even on a winning side, we just didn't, we weren't part of it. <laughs> no, they went pretty much through their um, pitching list, did they? Yeah, four of them. So, Colonel Failure gets the win, Ox gets the save, and Ramiro will top the loss for the Firebirds. Colonel Failure with that pitching performance gets the, man, the MVP, going through 7.2 innings. Uh, Dick Lucas, their starting pitcher, gets second. So it just shows what's the pitching that done it. Obi gets third. There you go. And that gives us 20 games to complete round 18. Okay, let's go. Cowboys beat Pioneers. It's a tight one. Panthers beat the Phantoms. Stampede come from behind to beat the Bears. Wildcats beat the Boomers. Oh, Mustangs beat the Magic. Oh, Power come from behind to beat the Force. Slammers beat the Storm. Mariners beat the Pirates. Scorchers beat the Sharks. Huh. Wild Hogs and a big shout out over the Eagles. Hawks from behind knock off the Seagulls. The Royals beat the Bears. Wow, topsy turvy one here. <laughs> And the Panthers get up over the Bulldogs. Wild Hogs knock off the Dragons. Boomers knock off the Barbarians. They're falling off the cliff. Pirates beat the Pioneers. Firebirds are shut out over the Force. Wildcats over the Sharks. Stampede beat the Scorchers. Power over the Cougars. Okay. Barbarians falling off a cliff are giving us a huge lead. <laughs> so, at the end of 18 games, for the Twitches anyway, Green Conference, Emu Division, Slammers lead by one and a half games on 11 and 7 from the Dragons. Kangaroo Division, Bulldogs lead by a game over the Wildcats on 12 and 7 in the Dingo Division. Panthers lead by a game and a half over the Mustangs on 12 and 7. In the Gold Conference Wombat Division, we're now six and a half games clear. After 18 games, we've passed the halfway mark and we've got a huge lead. 
16 and 2 over the Barbarians 10 and 9 and the Hornets, the defending champions, are back on 9 and 9. In the Quail Division, Storm lead by a game over the Seagulls, they're on 11 and 7. And in the Kookaburra Division, the Wild Hogs have got a 4 game lead over both the Cougars and the Eagles on 13 and 6. And there we have it. That's where we finish for, for week 6. And although two of those games were very iffy, we came out on the right side of them and we've had a good three win night. I think it's the third one we've had out of six, six weeks, so that's pretty good. It's the fourth one we've had out of six weeks, so that's not bad. It's going well. As long as we can take it into the finals and we don't lose any players to injury that you know, form falls off. Look at that run difference, plus 58. Looks like it, uh, we might have to knock the, the uh, ego up another level for next season. But we'll see how we go, we're only halfway. <laughs> That's where we'll leave it for this week. Thanks again for all those who um, dropped by to to watch, either in chat or um, lurking. Thanks to DB Gaming for um, the subscription there. Seven months, awesome stuff. Um, tonight our Betty who dropped by and Happy who dropped by, Tom who dropped by. Uh, let's see, all, the, all these games will go up as usual on YouTube during the week. First game will be tomorrow and then the next one two days after that and the next one two days after that. So all three will be up for the next round. And um, thanks again to Obi for all the um, clips for um, all the ads there. They might change again now that DB's put his hand up to redo them, which would be great. I'll have to find some extra ones as well. And, um, replay this again on, um, Friday, Australian, Thursday, American. So that, um, those who didn't catch it this time can catch the replay, and those who did catch it this time might want to catch it again, who knows. <laughs> anyway, until next time, hello to everybody on YouTube who's watching it on there. Hello to all those who are still here. From me, that's good night from the Twitches Baseball Club.